<clears throat> please stand by. And please, at this, at this point, we have both Zoom and YouTube channels live. It's a go. Thank you, guys. And click on got it in case you got the you get any message. Are we ready, sure. IT? Yes, Can you hear me? Here's Mir. Oh, perfect. Good. Hear me. Mir, welcome. And if both recordings have started, you are a go. All right. Well, very, very good. Welcome, everyone. Um, welcome to this book release event. Uh, thank you all for being here. Uh, for those of you who, who we haven't been introduced, my name is Andrew Hanush. I'm uh, one of the cytopathology fellows uh, at Dr. Shittam's program at DMC. Uh, I'll be uh, one of the co-hosts for this meeting and moderating. Um, so here's our agenda. Um, we, we've had the socializing already, and uh, we'll just go over a couple of housekeeping details related to technical aspects of operating the meeting software. Um, again, I'm Andrew, uh, and my co-moderators um, briefly appearing will be Kathy Roast, our program coordinator, and then uh, uh, my co-fellow, uh, Dr. Mir Khan, it will, will be here. I'm very glad to see him. Uh, he, he may speak for a few slides uh, if, he's, if he's able. If not, I'll just take over for those parts. Um, so then later we'll actually release the book and then we plan to adjourn up around 12 noon uh, Eastern US time. <clears throat> so again, uh, here, here we are uh, pictured here. Uh, I'm again, Andrew, convener and moderator, and then my co-fellow, uh, Mir Khan. And then uh, this is a picture of Kathy, Kathy Roast. And um, now Kathy, I'll hand this on, I'll hand this off to you uh, to speak briefly on uh, some of the housekeeping items here. Okay, thank you, Andrew, and good morning. I just have a couple of housekeeping items I'd like to go over with you. The first one is all participants will now be muted. Please unmute and mute yourself as needed. The IT coordinator can request you to put the camera and microphone on, but cannot turn them on. IT coordinator, however, can turn both camera and microphones off for any and all yeah, participants. IT coordinator would invite you to unmute yourself or start your camera as needed. Please accept the request. As other options, you may post your comments in the chat. And the final one is the recording of this event will be available for future references. We will publish the link at the cytojournal.com. Back to you, Andrew. Thank you, Kathy. All right, uh, so just to tell you a little bit about this book, um, as we know in modern medicine, cancer is a lethal disease with increasing numbers and an early diagnosis with a minimally invasive modality is a critical step in the management of cancer. Uh, cytopathology is commonly used for early diagnosis to follow up at various stages during the treatment of cancer. And uh, this book, is the second in the CMAS series of Cytopathology Foundation and Cyto Journal. Uh, it provides an essential tool to aid in the diagnosis of serous effusions uh, with lavish illustrations. There are also tables with algorithmic approaches to the diagnosis of different entities throughout the book. The chapters have been authored by experienced and expert pathologists and cytopathologists of international reputation. Um, they are well organized uh, with a comprehensive list of references. It is both practical as well as extremely comprehensive and is uh, strongly recommended for cytology professionals ranging from beginning students uh, all the way up to the most experienced practitioners. Uh, this 
second edition has extra images with updated immunohistochemistry and molecular pathology uh, topics. And each chapter demonstrates classic examples of different neoplasms with their characteristic architectural and uh, cellular features, easily relatable to the diagnostic cy cytopathologist. Um, the overall purpose uh, is of this cytopathologic diagnosis of serous fluids uh, is to address the challenges with recent advances for maximally improved diagnostic outcome with application of interdisciplinary resources. And let me just say on a personal note, how valuable I have found these chapters as, uh, as a reference material during my cytopathology fellowship. I'm halfway through and I, I refer to these materials quite frequently. And I'm, I'm sure I speak on behalf of my co-fellow Mir who, who feels the same. Now, uh, I'd like to introduce uh, the uh, Dr. Shittam, the uh, he is the monograph editor. Uh, Dr. Vinod B. Shittam is a professor and vice chair for the anatomical pathology uh, section and the director of cytopathology at Wayne State University uh, School of Medicine and the Carmanos Cancer Center uh, in the Detroit Medical Center. Uh, and the co-editor, uh, I will also introduce uh, Dr. Ruth Katz, who is a retired professor of pathology um, of the MD Anderson Cancer Center at the University of Texas in Houston. Our monograph co-editor is Dr. Lester Layfield. Uh, he is a professor and director of surgical pathology at the University of Missouri School of Medicine. And now I'll hand it off to Dr. Shittam. Thank you, Andrew. Uh, I just wanted to make a correction. There are some uh, issue uh, during the introduction. So uh, Dr. Uh, Lester Layfield is the co-editor and Dr. Katz is on the committee. So that some confusion was there, So, but that's clear. I mean, it should be okay. Uh, at this stage, uh, uh, we all know that most of our efforts in our life are based on efforts of our uh, uh, previous generation, and, uh, teachers and guides and uh, many people around us. Uh, so based on that, uh, this particular book is dedicated to uh, my uh, parents, uh, Dr. Siddham, and which is Dr. B.T. Siddham. He's a physician. Uh, he's 96 years old now, he's staying with me. He'll be proud of that, and he is proud of it. And my late uh, mother, uh, Dr. Sunanda Siddham, and also dedicated to my uh, father-in-law and mother-in-law, late Pratibha Paranspe and late Bhaskar Paranspe. Uh, from Dr. Layfield's side, uh, he is dedicated, uh, he's dedicating the book to uh, Dr. Uh, Layfield, would you like to pitch in? Dedicating it to uh, my... Uh wife and uh and daughter actually uh both of whom are uh, physicians and uh um i'm very very proud of uh both of them and they have uh, my wife in particular has uh, already made a fairly substantial career in uh, radiology so thank you great thank you <clears throat> And now we will introduce uh, Dr. Ruth Katz um, and Dr. Shittam, if, if you would like to do the honor of introducing our guest of honor. Thank you, Andrew. Uh, uh, Dr. Ruth Katz, as you know, she's a well-known uh, international uh, entity in the field of cytopathology and pathology. So on behalf of Cytopathology Foundation team and all the authors of this CIMAS book, I welcome our guest of honor for today's event, Dr. Ruth Louis Katz. Uh, she was born in Johannesburg, South Africa, and graduated as a medical doctor from the University of Witwatersrand 
1969. She did her residency in anatomic pathology at University of Cape Town, South Africa, and at the New England Medical Center, Tufts University, Boston. Subsequently, she did fellowships at the University of MD Anderson uh, in cytopathology and laboratory medicine. In 1984, she was appointed Chief Section of Cytopathology Department of Pathology, the University of Texas MD Anderson Cancer Center. She also directed the fellowship program in cytopathology there from 1993 through 1997. In 1992, she was appointed a tenured professor of pathology and later assumed the role of chief resident, uh, sorry, chief research cytopathology and director image cytometry diagnostic laboratory. She retired from MD Anderson Cancer Center in 2018 after serving for over 40 years on the faculty and currently resides in Israel where she has an honorary professor of pathology at Sheba Medical Center, University of Tel Aviv, Tel Aviv Israel. In the mid 1980s, after a brief visit to Karolinska Institute in Sudan, Sweden, Dr. Katz opened the first FNA clinic at MD Anderson and immediately adopted rapid onsite evaluation of aspirated tissue. And as you know, this is a very important portion because many of the uh, onsite adequacy and triage are extremely important for the final uh, productivity and accuracy of the procedure. She has published extens extensively in this field and for last 15 years, her major research interest was in looking at genetic susceptibility to develop cancer for which she received numerous grants. She developed a panel of novel DNA molecular markers for use in a multicolor fish test that detects circulating tumor cells, also abbreviated as CTC in blood to predict the presence of malignancy in patients with indeterminate lung nodules detected by low-dose CT scan. This test was subsequently licensed and is currently being performed both in China and in USA. Dr. Katz has patentized several methods, including the patents for detecting CTCs, that is circulating tumor cells in patients using different gene sequences and using metabolic markers. She is active in numerous national and international associations, including American Society of Cytopathology, International Academy of Cytology, European Congress of Pathology, USCAP, and American Association of Cancer Research, to mention a few. She is a well-known cytopathology lecturer and workshop uh, leader, both nationally and internationally. She has authored and co-authored over 4,000 articles and abstracts in leading peer review journals. In, nine, in 2015, she was cited by the pathologist as one of the 100 most influential laboratory professionals in the world. To date, she has more than 15,000 citations and here she has a very high H index of 58 with I10 index of 183. In 2020, uh, 21, uh, 20, uh, 2021, she was appointed to the editorial board of WHO publication of the Blue Book for Cytopathology of Lymph Node, Thymus, and Spleen, where she was both an author and reviewer. She is currently a consultant for Sanmed Bio in Zhuhai, China, as well as being on the scientific advisory board of Lung Life AI, Los Angeles, USA. I'm honored to invite Dr. Katz to initiate this book release event. Uh, Dr. Katz, would you like to take over from here? And maybe you'll have to unmute yourself first. Perfect. Can you hear me now? Yes. Can you hear me? Okay. You. Okay, well, first of all, thank you very much for this tremendous honor. It's very unexpected. And, uh, you know, Vino, I've always been one of your fans. And I just want to say a few words about uh, Dr. Shidham before I talk about the book. And um, that is, 
I'd like to acknowledge the tremendous role that he has played since 2004 in initiating an open access journal for pathologists and any practitioner of cytopathology to gain up to the date knowledge on all aspects of cytopathology without having to be encumbered by very expensive journal costs. He did this of course through the establishment of the Cyto Journal, which since its inception has published hundreds of journal articles. Initially, I remember that there was a lot of resistance to this idea by the established journals and the editorial, editorial members, but now through Vino's perseverance of making knowledge available to all, it has become a mainstream journal. So I just wanted to take this opportunity, Vino, to congratulate you on this incredible pioneering feat that you accomplished. Thanks a lot for those beautiful words. Um, if you would like me to talk a little bit about the book, I just want to say a few words. And um, just briefly, before we had tools like digital image analysis, artificial intelligence, immunocytochemistry, and molecular pathology to aid in cytopathology diagnosis, we relied extensively, of course, on morphology. And one of the huge strengths of this monograph on cytopathology diagnosis of serous fluids is its focus on diagnostic morphological criteria to diagnose whether the disease process that we are dealing with is a benign reactive effusion or a clear-cut malignancy, and of course, all the atypias in between. Now, this book provides wonderful real-world examples of all types of cancers that may be present in serous fluids, as well as of reactive mesothelial cells, some of which of great mimickers, as we know, of adenocarcinoma and or mesothelioma. After making an initial diagnosis of a serous effusion as either benign, atypical, suspicious, or malignant, the pathologist may then begin to add immunocytochemistry on top of smears or cell blocks in order to make a definitive, specific diagnosis. Fortunately, this book devotes a great, great detail to the use of the most up-to-date biomarkers for diagnosis, with a great chapter on subtractive immunocytochemistry to use on cell blocks. Finally, I want to say that when I first had the opportunity to look over the contents of this book, I just wish that it had been presented to me many years ago, in the 1980s, many years ago, when I was a faculty member at MD Anderson Cancer Center in the cytology department, where before the advent of fine needle aspirations, our bread and butter was literally either cervical smears or pap smears or body cavity effusions. And much of the knowledge in this book had not yet been published or even categorized. We learned the hard way by carefully studying the slides and digging up papers in the library using Index Medicus and not the ease of the internet. And in those days, our department wrote some of the seminal cytology papers that were for the large part just based on morphology. And so thus, in conclusion, I would like to thank the editors of this book, Vino Shedem and Lester Layfield, together with all the other highly experienced authors of the different chapters for putting together a wonderful practical handbook, which will be an extremely helpful aid for all practitioners of cytology. Thank you, Thank Dr. You, Dr. Katz, for those wonderful words. Uh, now, Andrew. Yes, thank you, Dr. Katz. That that that's excellent. Um, so now, uh, I'd like to introduce uh, the patrons of this event: uh, Dr. Whale Soccer and Dr. Rafik Beydoun. Uh, Dr. Soccer is a professor and dean of the Wayne State University School of Medicine. He is a well-known urological pathologist and general surgical pathologist. Dr. Beydoun is a professor and interim chair of pathology at the Wayne State University School of Medicine. He is a well-known surgical pathologist with expertise in multiple subspecialties, including gastrointestinal, endocrine, breast, and kidney pathology. 
I would like to uh, request Dr. Sacker and Dr. Beidou to say a few words about the event and the book. All right. Uh, thank you, Andrew. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Great. Uh, uh, congratulations, uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Siddham and Dr. Layfield. Uh, uh, I think this is a, what a, uh, a, a formidable group that you put together for this release. I mean, the, Dr. Katz is a, a legendary cytopathologist uh, for decades. Uh, and uh, I think her words are testimonials to a great book. I was, uh, as a fundamentally anatomic pathologist myself, uh, yes, I've been serving as a dean now for a few months. But uh, really, my career has been in pathology and anatomic pathology. Was going through the book yesterday. It's uh, the contents are great. The production is uh, really beautiful, and I think uh, it's uh, it, you know thank you for providing uh, this very valuable contribution to the world of cytopathology. And uh, the timing couldn't uh, be better. It's a good uh, Christmas gift uh, for people in, in the field. So heartily congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Sakar, uh, for those wonderful words. And uh, now Dr. Uh, Baidun uh, would like to speak a few words. Yeah, hi. Uh, you hear me? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Actually, many congratulations to Dr. Sidim and Dr. Field on getting their second edition book uh, published. Actually, I know the importance of having a book like this available to resident, junior practitioner, and even advanced practitioner in different parts of the world. I'm also aware of the time and the hard work you and other contributors put in having this job done. And this is really very exciting to all of us. I'm a surgical pathologist, but I know that with how you having this uh, cell block thing, you are coming to surgical pathology. Mm -hmm. And now with the, the fulfillment of your second edition, I'm sure you are going beyond the second, the third, and the fourth edition. Many congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Beda, for the wonderful words. Uh, now, I think, um, uh, IT, if you could uh, uh, have the thumbnails so that all the, all the participants can be visible. And uh, so I would like to introduce uh, all the authors who have contributed and uh, thank all the authors for their efforts on behalf of both of us, uh, Dr. Layfield and myself. Uh, IT, is it possible to put everybody on the screen? Uh, Dr. Shidham, let me give it a try. Um, uh, Andrew, would you mind uh, stopping your uh, sharing, please? All right. Hey. I, are, you able to every, are you able to see everyone now on the screen? Uh, yeah, I think yes. uh, it's not uh, everybody on the screen, but that probably is individual uh, uh, choice or individual arrangement, but is it coming up on the final um, projection? Yes. Uh, all of them, okay, great. So as uh, you must have seen in the first slide itself, the contributing authors include Dr. Eileen Ariola. Uh, she couldn't join today because uh, she had a prior uh, assignment. Then Dr. Mamta Chukula, she is in the group. Uh, Dr. Ali Gabali, uh, he was going to join. I'm not sure whether he joined or not. Dr. Uh, sorry, Biata Janikowski, uh, who has helped a lot in the chapter related with the immunohistochemistry. Uh, Darshana Jhala and Dr. Uh, Nirag Jhala, both of them are here, which they have joined. Uh, of course, Dr. Uh, Layfield is here. Uh, Dr. Liran Pantanovitz, he has uh, done a uh, contribution at short notice. And thank you again, Liran, for uh, doing that. He has also joined. Uh, Dr. Nagarjun Rao, uh, he is on call and he said that he'll be busy uh, on a busy call. So he couldn't join. Uh, then myself and then Dr. V, he has joined from Fox Chase. 
And Dr. Rosemary Zuna, she was uh, also uh, in, not in a position to join because she had some other uh, uh, conflicting pre-assignment. So based on this, uh, all the authors uh, in that order, if you could please uh, uh, comment uh, about the project in brief. Uh, I'm not sure. Mamta, are you there? Uh, IT, can you see Mamta Chukula? Uh, no. Okay, Dr. Gabali? He, he was going to join, but I'm not sure he might have missed it. I'm uh, not able to see him either. Okay, uh, Darshana, uh, Dr. Darshana Jhala, you want to comment on something? Uh, sure. Yeah. So uh, thanks for this opportunity, we know then all other editors for the book. I think, you know, in the way I think cytology is just an ex extension of a surgical pathology where we don't have a luxury of a tissue architecture. So this book will be useful not only to cytopathologists, but to any pathologist. And it is very practical. And the project you have taken, I think that will stay for a long time for all the generations to come and read and contribute to the patient care. So thanks so much. Thank you, Darshana. Nirag? Uh, sure. Uh, thanks for having us uh, as the authors on the book. Uh, and thanks for inviting us for the very first edition as well. So this is continuation of the same. So thanks to Dr. Shidham, Dr. Lakefield, and everyone who has contributed. This has been a wonderful journey. It's an open access. And uh, the format is that we can actually modify the references as in the new references come in. Uh, so it has been wonderful. We have been contributing to the chapter on reactive conditions, which oftentimes is very, very hard uh, in cases with fluid cytology. Uh, and thanks for, uh, thanks for including us uh, as contributors. Thank you so much to Dr. Shidham and Dr. Layfield. Thank you, Dr. Jala. Uh, Dr. Layfield? Yes, thank you. Um, I want to comment on several things. One is that this uh, edition is uh, said to be the second edition of a very uh, outstanding book originally edited by uh, Dr. Atkinson. And uh, I think uh, in many respects, they're two different uh, uh, books in that uh, the current edition has so much updated as far as molecular and immunohistochemistry, which of course, by the uh, date of the original book were not included. So I think that uh, is, is making it almost a, uh, a completely separate uh, book, although based on, on an excellent first edition. Uh, the uh, book has many, many advantages over uh, other atlases texts in that uh, has already been mentioned, uh, its references can be updated, which is something I think very, very special and allows this book to have an extended lifetime. Uh, it has wonderful tables. I have read the, uh, the text many times, of course, as it's gone through its uh, editing process. And each time I've learned something new or reminded of something that I uh, should have had uh, more at my fingertips than I do. Um, but I think that uh, characteristic of the book, the many tables, the excellent illustrations, and its ability to be updated uh, over time make this uh, a text a, a very, very special production. And also the way it's being presented makes it, uh, I think, much more um, available to a wide spectrum of individuals. So I really would like to uh, congratulate uh, Dr. Sinem on it. He's really been the driver behind this project. He is uh, one of the uh, most um, active and energetic uh, cytopathologists pathologi that I know, and uh, my hat is certainly off to him. And again, thank you for letting me be part of this. Uh... Thank you, Dr. Leifield. Uh, Dr. Uh, Pantanovitz. Yes, uh, hello everyone. Um, I want to thank the editors for the honor of contributing to the second edition. Um, as we, we know, and everyone has mentioned, serous effusions compromise a huge proportion of uh, routine cytology practice. And uh, 
this book is well known. So a second edition is very welcome with all the advances in the field. Um, I know that the chapters I contributed to, uh, I put in a huge amount of effort. Um, I know that the cases selected to illustrate the book uh, are some of the best. I think the illustrations are outstanding. Um, I had consulted the literature, so I know that uh, the chapters that I had written are completely up to date. And uh, I had the opportunity to, you know, step back and think about um, the problem uh, cytopathologists face uh, when they try to uh, solve some of these problems. And uh, what I like about uh, the, my chapters and all the other ch chapters is uh, relevant algorithms, which you know, had made me create interesting algorithms, tables, etc., to illustrate my point. So I think this is a really practical book but also has all the content uh, and updated with the literature. So I think, uh, you know, Lester, well done for adding another excellent resource to the cytopathology field. Thank you, Liron. <clears throat> uh, Dr. V. Hi, good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you so much uh, for uh, Doug Shidham and uh, Lee Field. Uh, for including me as an author. It's a great honor to contribute uh, my part. So I hope we're gonna have uh, many excellent book we will, uh, on the way from Doug Sheehan. You know, especially right now, you know, molecular testing, as Doug Leifield mentioned, molecular testing is more and more important in not only in the set of paths and also in the, you know, general search paths and every, every, everything, not only for diagnosis and uh, also for prognosis. Maybe later we can incorporate more molecular testing in the later book, you know, in the future book. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. V. Uh, so at this stage, uh, I will uh, kind of uh, elaborate on the CMAS, which is an abbreviation for Cytogenal Monograph Atlas Series. And this project we had uh, kind of uh, contemplated for a long time. And the first in the series was CMAS 1, which was a uh, Cell Block History 101 uh, related uh, in relation to the cell block making and all the technical and other issues. And this is the second in that series. Uh, so these will be a good uh, kind of a templates for other people to follow. Uh, can you put uh, the slideshow, Andrew? Yes, I'm... Uh... With that uh, slide number 11. So, as far as the process is concerned, why CMAS as compared to any book? There are many benefits and some of those we have referred to while uh, individual comments at various levels. And the most important is it's an open access project. And what does that mean is all the authors retain their copyright, but they agree to share in the public domain. That's the main benefit, which many times is underestimated, but over a period of time, people have understood the significance of it. And other is, which is easy to understand, and that is the information or the knowledge is available free immediately after publication all over the world. And so because of that, uh, this project is slightly different because none of the books can be in, uh, most of the books are not easily available like that. And then uh, if a book is there, you can kind of uh, search it in PubMed. So it's not searchable database. So in this, what happens is, all the, whenever we establish a book, uh, when we want to do it as a CMAS book, first you organize the chapters. And then those chapters are initially published as review articles, mostly in a proper sequence, but sometimes they could be random. And they are published in Cytojournal as an open access article. And under the Creative Commons license 4.0, which is actually means that all the published articles which are under this common license, you can uh, uh, modify, you can publish for all academic purposes. And so accordingly, these articles are modified into chapters and then those chapters are joined properly together and it becomes the book. And of course, when the book is there, then you can cite one chapter with other chapter. Some of the big pictures might be in uh, chapter number one, but afterwards you would like to cite also in chapter five and all those things. So there is a continuum. And then of course, it will have index and all those things. So this particular slide shows the steps uh, if those who are interested in future to have the CMAS organized around it. And we have a couple of CMAS which are in pipeline. As you know, already by this time, CMAS 3 is published. 
the publisher and uh, we are working uh, to make it available on Amazon soon. CMOS 2 is already available on Amazon. And so CMOS 4 and 5 are in pipelines. On the same line, uh, these will be available for other, uh, I would use the word experts or, or the academicians who would like to uh, take the benefit of this project. So the first step will be plan a topic with some uh, interesting uh, area in the field of cytopathology. And then follow the template, which is there on the published uh, CIMAS uh, already there. Submit the proposal to CIMAS Cytopathology Foundation Committee. And then Cytopathology Foundation will approve and suggest the alternative to CIMAS book project if there are any suggestions. And based on that, then you can proceed and write each chapter as a review article which should include generous number of algorithms, tables, and pictures which are properly labeled. And that's the goal here. Not just how just pictures here and there randomly, or just how the description. The goal is easy readability, which is usually because of number of algorithms and figure tables and pictures, which will be, which should be labeled. That's the goal. Uh, submit the individual review articles, uh, each representing as a chapter in the planned CMAS book to Cyto Journal which will be published an open access article. After the publication of all the articles, modify the review article slightly as required to be coordinated as a part of the book. And then once the complete CMAS book is organized, uh, then of course uh, there will be index and all those things. And finally, uh, the Cytopathology Foundation will publish the book in, with the help of publisher both on the CytoJournal uh, site and also at uh, other sites, most of the time Amazon. Uh, the editors and contributing authors enjoy the worldwide exposure to their work in open access with low cost or no cost access to this knowledge to the entire globe uh, uh, without any barrier. So that's the basic project when it comes to the CMS. Uh, can we go to the next slide? And so if you see this, uh, one of the example on the left side, you can see all the articles which are already published. And then those articles were converted into chapters. On the right side shows the current book. Can you go to the next slide, please? And these are the chapters, uh, as uh, mo most of you know. And uh, on the right side, it shows all the authors who have contributed to this. Next slide, please. All these efforts are organized by many, many people. And my, one of the most important is we had a committee. Uh, so CIMAS committee uh, is uh, chaired by Dr. Baloch and Dr. Bose. Uh, Dr. Bose uh, is not well, so she couldn't join. And Dr. Baloch uh, was supposed to join. I'm not sure he's IT. Is he in the list, but Dr. Baloch? Zubair, are you there? If you can speak a few words, if you're there. Not able to see him, Dr. Siddham. Okay, yeah. So, and then of course, as you could uh, see, uh, Dr. Katz is a part of this uh, committee, and Dr. Wilbur uh, and Dr. Austin are the one who couldn't join. Uh, can you go to the next slide, please? And on the non academic side, that way, but most important is uh, the, the working of Cytopathology Foundation. We have a uh, Cytopathology Foundation board. And this part, uh, Mir, uh, can you present or uh, Andrew is going to take over? Okay. I'll take over. Uh, Mir is not uh, feeling well. Um, okay, good. So our, cyto our cytopathology board uh, foundation members uh, include our president, uh, Dr. Shidham, uh, and board of directors, uh, Kathy Roast, uh, Anjani Shidham, uh, Dilip Paradkar, and Sonia Shields Stowe. Uh, we thank all of them for their invaluable contribution to the open access cause. Uh, Sonia, are you there? Can you hear me? I am. 
Yeah, you want yes, to Yes, I comment? can. Yeah. Um, yes, thank you. I am um, very proud to be on the board of directors of such wonderful contribution to cytopathology. Congratulations to all of you. Thank you. Thank you, Sonia. Thanks for making Thank it you. even after the difficult travel. Uh, Dilip, you want to talk? Can you hear me? Yeah. Hi, you know, thanks for everything. Congratulations. And I'm happy to be a part of this. Thank you very much. Thank you. And Kathy has already spoken, but Kathy, we would like to speak as a foundation board member. Kathy, can you hear me? Yes, I'm sorry. Um, thank you for just the privilege of being um, affiliated with this group and with this project and working with Dr. Sidham all these years. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kathy, and all the people for this contribution. Anjani, are you there? You'll have to unbolt, uh, unmute Yes, yourself. I am here. Okay. Thank you everyone for joining this um, team. Okay, thank you. Thank and you. so I think uh, we could go to the next uh, slide, right, uh, Andrew? Yes. This one, right? Is this one you, you No, drawing? no, the, the, there is one just before that, nine, number uh, 18. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so uh, we also thank the CMAS book compilation team, uh, which comprises the Cytopathology Foundation in collaboration with Scientific Scholar for publishing this book in the series. Uh, the commissioning editor and marketing manager is Mr. Pratesh Sheth. The development editor is Mr. Santuana Corrada and the project manager, Dr. Vinod Shidham. Thank you all. Thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, Andrew uh, and uh, Pritesh. Would you like to comment on our project? You can go back to slide, yeah. Pritesh, are yeah, you there? Sure. Uh, I, I, can you hear me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah so thanks a lot. I think it's been a great journey so far. You know, uh, this is the second edition of uh, CMOS 2. And I know we've lined up a couple of more. So it's, it's in continuation of what we are doing in terms of helping the uh, cytopathology community. So it's a great pleasure working with the uh, with Dr. Shiddham and the entire team. Uh, it's our pleasure to, to be part of uh, such a great book. Thank you. Thank you, Pritesh. Uh, Sandhwana, are you there? Hello? Uh, yeah, uh, hello, sir, okay. I'm here. Ah, yeah, uh, well, I, I don't know anything about the medical uh, field, but we, as a publisher, what I can say is when we started working on this book, uh, updates and instructions seem to be coming from all sides. But looking at it now at the, at the finish stage, definitely it was all worth it. Uh, Great. Thank, but, thanks and, for that insight. <laughs> <laughs> so is uh, Heman there now? I'm not sure. I didn't see him. Abhi, uh, IT, can you see him? Hemant he, Mazrekar? He's there. He's there. Okay, okay. Yes, he is, and I'm trying to unmute him. Okay, good. Dr. Siddham, I'm unable to reach him, but he does show in the list of attendees. Okay, no problem. Uh, Hemant Mazrekar, if you could uh, make it, otherwise, uh, we'll go to the next step. And that is at this level, Andrew, you want to go to the next level? The book release is officially there. And this is the hard copy, which I got. As you could see, it is a page proof. Uh, there is a hard cover version and there is a paper version. And uh, both of those are hopefully it is mirroring, I think, but uh, that uh, that's okay. Uh, these are the books which will be available on uh, Amazon, and uh, I would uh, explain it at later stage, how to access it on Cytojournal and Amazon. 
uh, to the next slide, please, Andrew. So you want to uh, start instead of Mirna? Uh, yes. Um, so just uh, in the way of acknowledgements, um, it's a long list um, and it includes the faculty members, staff members, residents and fellows, um, myself and Dr. Mir Khan uh, included, uh, the, uh, the cytotechnologists, the cytoprep techs, uh, our, our IT tech, tech support for supporting this meeting and its broadcasting. Um, Dr. Shittams and my teachers, colleagues, students, and friends throughout our careers. We thank all the participants of this, of this event. Um, and as recommended uh, by our coordinator, we request all the YouTube viewers to uh, please, if you would subscribe to the Cyto Journal video channel um, by, and again, this meeting will be recorded and posted to the to YouTube after uh, its conclusion, and we'll send out a link for that. And if you click on that, uh, sub subscribe. That would help, uh, 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 you know, uh, get get numbers of viewers to be increased, uh, which would be helpful. Um, and this quick and simple step will help to enhance our few, our our efforts to uh, make future educational programs for many more people at the global level. Thank you, Andrew. Can you please go to the next slide? Yeah. So the book is available on Amazon Books. Uh, Ebook is available as Kindle version and hardcover is also available. Paper cover is in the process, might be available soon. And on eCytoJournal, it's available freely for CF or Cytopathology Foundation members. Uh, for a while, it is available free. So those who are interested should go there and visit. Uh, you can just uh, take a snapshot of the QR code and you can open it if you want. Otherwise, you can go on a, a Cytogenal website and access it. And I will, we will demonstrate how to do that. Can you go to the next slide, please? Yes. Um, okay, so I'll, I'll yeah. just go through this briefly. Um, on the Cytogenal website, and you can see the URL in the top of this, you know, in the, in the address bar here, go there and then <clears throat> click on CMAS monographs where that arrow is pointing. And then there'll be a uh, drop down from that. So Andrew, at this level, I could show it in real time. So can you please uh, uh, unshare your screen and then I will sc share my screen. Oh, sure. And if required, then you can come back again. Okay. IT, can you please allow me to participate, uh, share the screen? Good. Dr. Sitam, you should be able to share the screen now. Perfect. Okay, can you uh, see my sh screen? Yes. Good. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So once you open the uh, Cytojournal uh, page, uh, as uh, Andrew said, uh, if you go and click on eCytojournal, you will come to this page. Uh, on this, there are multiple uh, CMAS uh, books at present. This is CMAS 1, CMAS 2, and the third one is what is available in electronic version at present, but will also be available on hard copy soon on Amazon. So if you click on whatever the CMAS article, uh, CMAS book you want to read, uh, it will just open it and uh, you can see that uh, the book will be there. Here you can just flip like by clicking on the right lower corner and it will allow you to just flip the pages and accordingly just you can read it like a book uh, on the site. So as we said, uh, all the CMAS uh, books are available to be read by the CF Foundation member. For those who are interested, it's uh, everybody knows that CF, uh, CF membership is hardly $50 per year. It's not very expensive. We made it uh, as uh, cheap as possible for anybody to join. And uh, in future, uh, this will be exclusively for CF members. At present, it is available free. 
Uh, this is also available on Amazon. And uh, as usual, you can have a Kindle copy or hardcover and then soon the paper cover will be available. So it's easy for anyone to get anywhere in the world and at a minimum cost. If you want to compare, the first edition of this book in a regular format was 295 or $290. And you can imagine now this price, even after so many years, is quite low. So uh, Sima's project is extremely uh, beneficial in both uh, with reference to the availability of the knowledge and in a conventional way, if you want to buy, the cost is also very low. Uh, now I will un unshare my, my screen. Andrew, you could open your now and share yours. And you can go to the slide number 26 now, which is the last one, I think. Yeah, the last one. Ooh. You might have to go next. That's one. Ah, that's one. Yeah. Yes, this was the last uh, slide. Uh, so the the vote of thanks, uh, Honorable Dr. Katz, as one of our most valued guests, our most valued guests, uh, ladies and gentlemen. It is indeed my privilege to have been asked to propose a vote of thanks on this occasion. Um, it is my pleasure on behalf of the Cytopathology Foundation, the Cyto Journal, the monograph series team, and the, and the entire Cytopathology fraternity to extend a most heartfelt vote of thanks to all of our esteemed speakers. Uh, we applaud each of you for your dedication and contributions to the field of cytopathology, and we appreciate you sharing your findings and opinions with us today. Uh, Andrew, can I, can I intervene at this level? Again, I thank uh, Dr. Sakar and Dr. Beidun for joining, and all the, all the members of the team, both on the Cytopathology Foundation side and author side. So at this level, again, the book is declared as uh, released and uh, we will uh, adjourn the book release event for today. And thank you everybody. Uh, IT, can you please you put much. the uh, recording off and please make it not live now. So uh, I just want to offer my congratulations to you again, uh, Professor Siddham, not only on behalf of the department as a senior faculty, but also on behalf of the School of Medicine for this uh, great contribution. Thanks a lot, Dr. Sakar. That means a lot. And your encouragement has always been very important for many of these projects, which we could be doing for a while. And in future, we'll be doing more and more. And we will need your help on an ongoing basis. And we know that it will be there available. For sure. Uh, I, uh, Dr. Bedon, you want to? Yeah, yeah, actually, I just want to congratulate you on all of the work that's been done. Actually, the book is a really good resources for all pathologists practicing and in training. Again, thank you so much for this. Thanks a lot. Uh, Dr. Katz, want any concluding remarks? Uh, just once again, thank you for the honor. And uh, it's a wonderful book. And uh, everybody should enjoy it and use it. Great, thanks a lot. Uh, uh, IT, now uh, is it uh, uh, stopped recording and it's not live now, right?